This is a picture of my mom uh, when she was young. My mom died uh, a little over 10 years ago, but this is when she was in her 20s and she's with her sister. Uh, her sister had an intellectual disability. I bring this up because this for her was a formational time in her life when she, my mother, came to understand that the world wanted to divide her from her own sister. That the world saw her sister as less than, different, other, that in most places, her own sister would have been put into an institution because she was too different to belong. You notice the rhetoric, the, the language? She's too different to belong. She is too much outside the circle of the normal, the acceptable. We have to get rid of her. This would have been not an outlier point of view, but the normative point of view for people with an intellectual disability. But what does this picture tell you? There was two people there who just loved each other. Now that relationship, here's uh, another picture of my Aunt Rosemary with her brother. Uh, again, young people, happy. Uh, Rosemary uh, would end up being a person I'm guessing none of you have ever heard of. Uh, and rightfully so, it's not an accusation. Uh, the guy on the left, you probably have heard of. He probably 20 years after this picture is taken becomes the president of the United States of America, arguably the most powerful person on earth. And she arguably the most powerless person on earth. But in this picture, you know that they both understood something other than the power dynamic, other than the cultural dynamic, other than the dynamic that says you're too other to belong. Here in this picture, they trusted each other, they loved each other, they were in it together. And when he becomes president, what people most remember, Republicans or Democrats and not partisan here, is the simple words, don't ask what someone can do for you. Don't ask what the country can do for you. Ask what you can give, because why? He understood, in my view, at a visceral level, that when you give yourself to others, even in trust, even in reckless moral courage, even when you're not sure it's going to be returned, when you give yourself, uh, you get your best self back.